Most local residents are very mindful. Today's storm marks five years to the day since the deadly mudslides in Montecito. We take a look back. Turn around, the flash flood's right there. The flash flood's right there. Get out of here, go. A deluge of rain brings down a mountainside, oh often after a fire, taking everything with it, like it did on January 9th in 2018. It's been an interesting journey um, for the first almost year. That video almost seemed like somebody else filmed it. Oh my God, Mom! Mark O'Farrell captured the mudslide on his cell phone that tragic morning, rushing down Olive Mill Road. Close the door! The destructive power behind that river of mud, trees, and boulders claimed 23 lives, more than 100 homes, and left more than 400 other houses battered and broken. The Farrell's home was one of them. It's also taught myself and my family lessons that we would have never learned. We've had to rely on strengths that we didn't know we had. Because the mud, I mean, it was, the flow was this high. It seems See, like just yesterday. It does. Um, it's, um, five years has gone by very quickly. Mark Hall was one of Santa Barbara County's search and rescue volunteers that morning, along with a team of canine search dogs from throughout California. He reiterates how powerful that event was and shares unimaginable scenarios the teams came across. Creeks raged 75 feet high in some places, taking out entire neighborhoods. A house propelled 20 feet up into a tree. A kitchen wall impaled by a massive oak three feet in diameter. Like many people that were um, there during the debris flow, it took a long time to decompress to um, uh, absorb and uh, deal with you know, everything that we'd seen and, and done. The community strengthened and rebuilt over the past five years with tireless help from our first responders and the Bucket Brigade and its thousands of volunteers. Marburg's seemingly endless routes hauling out debris and large-scale fundraising events, including 1805. Milestones in the past half decade include new protections, wider creeks, stronger bridges, and new debris basins. What I tell people is love found Jack. And somber notes. Last year, Kim Canton buried the remains of her teenage son, Jack. The search for Lydia Sudatepa, the missing toddler, continues. I think it's made us better people, and it's solidified how much our community means to us. Farrell's video has helped convince people around the world to evacuate below burn scars before the rains come. There aren't too many days that I don't drive through Montecito and through the creek areas thinking about you know, what the creeks were at that point in time and thinking about the people that, um, you know, that, not just the people that we rescued, but the people that came out to assist. All right, thanks. Hall urges the community to heed future warnings when they come. You know, it's better to be prepared than not.